now coming to the elements of user defined function uh, just in the previously just a few minutes couple of minutes ago we've discussed uh, what actually how a function will be and what are the types of functions uh, the different types of functions are user defined functions and predefined functions so if you would like to design a function on your own it would be a user defined function and how actually you should implement it is using some set of rules that we are going to learn in this topic so the three main elements we require is function declaration means what is the function you would like to write and what is the input you are giving and what is the output you are getting these all things have to be decided in this function declaration or prototype prototype is nothing but like blueprint you have to specifically give the blueprint of your function next you need to call that function that is under the function call next what you have to do is you have to give the actual implementation of the function definition using function definition now these all three things constitute for a user defined uh, function now coming to the first part that is function declaration or uh, prototype the original syntax of the prototype how you have to declare a function is in this manner first of all you must always decide a correct function name for your uh, user defined function now after that what type of data you would like to give as input whether you would like to give or not and if you are giving what type of data you are giving you have to specify it in brackets and before the function name you have to specify after the entire implementation of the function what type of data you would like to return back so we'll understand this when we discuss a program thoroughly now i am giving you a basic prototype some example prototypes here see here mum it is a function name and the type of data that can be given is two integer values that's why i'm specifying the comma and at the end i have to must and should give a semicolon and after the execution of this entire function the data that has to be returned back must be of type integer and now i'm writing the same function prototype in another manner like see again this is the mul function and i'm giving two data as input integer data is input but i am getting nothing as output void means nothing void means nothing now after that we have a function call what actually a function call is if you write a function if you declare it and if you write the definition it's of no use until unless you call it now how is a printf function being executed you have to write it in your program first of all right so what happens is after writing it in your program it is being called so such type of statement is called as function call where you are calling your function by its name followed by open bracket if parameters are there you have to mention those parameters close the bracket and end it with a semicolon suppose if this is the function that you have given a prototype how will the function call be how will the function call will be means you have to specify the function name bracket open you either have to give the integer variables or you can directly give any two integer values like this and it with a semicolon so such type of statements are called as function calls coming to the function definition or implementation here actual part comes now initially we have declared a function you have called a function but where does the control go and what does it execute actually this resides in the function definition or the implementation you know what definition is it's a meaning so you can think in that manner also so this is the meaning of your program and what does the syntax it follows is same as the declaration but you omit the semicolon you have to specify the return type and you have to mention the function name and the parameters list why because if they are passing any parameters there someone has to receive here and we'll discuss it while discussing the program and this entire statement is called as function header now the function header comprises of the return type of the function the function name and the parameters list coming to the function definition the two the first part function header and the second part is function body and the function body comprises of any variable local variable declarations so now we cannot directly perform all the operations with the data as input that with the data we have got as input we need some intermediate variable also so those variables are called as local variables and you can declare them here after that what are the statements you would like to execute here and there is one more important statement here that need to be understood that is nothing but a return statement a return statement either you can send some values to the return 
with the return statement or you can directly write the return statement like this.